Good evening and welcome to Bowerman's Nose on Dartmoor. In my hand here, I've got one of my trusted combinations of landscape photography camera gear, and that's my Nikon Z7 with my 14 to 30 F4. But this evening, I'm gonna be swapping that lens out and putting this one on instead, a 10 millimeter fisheye pancake lens. Don't panic, I will be taking landscape photographs. That's my principal purpose here tonight, is to capture some nice images of Bowerman's nose, which hopefully, given the light that I'm getting, might be a possibility. But I am gonna talk about this lens a little bit. It's not gonna take very long, because there's, well, frankly, not a lot to talk about. So this is a pancake lens, so it's really small. Um, it's fixed aperture at F8. It's got a focus switch that goes from, well, focus movie slidey thing from, uh, goes from infinity to 0.3. Apparently it has five elements in four groups. And that's about it. That's about as simple lens as you can possibly get. But I thought it'd be quite good fun to come out tonight to see what it was like about taking landscape photographs. Now I will tell you why I purchased this lens a bit later, but I think the first thing I should do is take a picture. Because this lens has a simple design, taking pictures with it is relatively straightforward. So I don't have to worry about aperture. It's F8 all the time. There's nowhere for me to put filters, so there's no circular polarizer or grads to worry about. And the focus, well, that's about as easy as it gets. Obviously, it's not autofocus, it's manual focus, so I'll use focus peaking on the back of the screen there to help me judge and maybe zoom into some areas just to check. I've got acceptably sharp focus where I need it. But it doesn't get much more difficult than that. I've got the composition set up, I've got these rocks here, they're catching the evening light, Bowman's nose catching the evening light. I'm all set. Take the picture. Done. Do you know what? Because of the simplicity of this lens, I'm actually finding it quite free and I feel like I can wander about the scene a bit more. I feel liberated, not bogged down with gear, not bogged down with settings or what I'm doing or how I'm setting the camera up. It's almost point and shoot. It's quite good fun. At the start of this video, I did say I was going to tell you why I purchased this lens. I can tell you one of the reasons I didn't purchase it, and that was to replace any of my nickel glass. Not a chance. That, uh, those nickel lenses for the Z mount are absolutely outstanding. But fairly quickly, before I tell you why I purchased this lens, I forgot to tell you at the beginning, this is actually a crop lens. This is a DX lens. So it's not actually designed to go into full frame camera. So you have to put it in into DX mode, into crop mode. If you don't, you end up with a super wide field of view with a circular fisheye. And you can actually, see, it's so wide, you can actually see your hand on the grip. So you have to put the camera in DX mode. So why did I buy this lens? Well, I'll be absolutely honest with you. I'm not entirely sure. I do ask myself <laughs> the same question sometimes. Principally, I bought it for fun and I was a little bit bored. I bought it during the middle of lockdown, they were on uh, Amazon, they were on special offer, a discount code from one of the major photography news websites. There was only one left in stock. I panicked a bit, I thought, oh, one left, I must get this, and I bought it. It was, it was relatively inexpensive, I think I paid less than 60 pounds for it. But you know, do I regret my purchase? No, because it's actually a lot of fun. It just, it's, like I say, simplifies the process of using this camera. And of course, it is not gonna replace my nickel glass, but for just, putting out and keeping it in your pocket and just having a bit of fun with it. Like, so you don't really have to focus it. You're just gonna point and shoot. It's actually a lot of fun. And I certainly enjoyed using it tonight. Just before I go, I guess I'm gonna put a theme against this video. And tonight's theme is gonna be fun. Sometimes I think we all take photography too seriously. Myself in particular, I do take it quite seriously, but sometimes you just gotta let go, have a bit of fun. And I've had a lot of fun, like I say, 
using that lens. And you should do the same, not necessarily buy a 50 pound lens off Amazon, but remember to have fun with your photography, try some different gear, do a bit of experimentation. It's always good to widen your photography horizons a little bit. But I do hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you've got an extra couple of minutes, I'm gonna pop up some playlists there for Dartmoor and some five minute photo adventures. So do check some of those videos out. And if you have enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, share, all that great stuff. But until the next one, I shall see you then.